We appreciate everybody coming today at this point in time. We'd like you to uh, give a great Big Blue Nation welcome to the new head football coach at the University of Kentucky, Mark Stoops. like to thank everybody for uh, obviously coming out today. It was a rainy day, but a great day to be in uh, the Nutter Indoor Center celebrating a, a great day in Kentucky football. Uh, we're extremely excited today to have a chance to begin fresh and have new beginnings. And uh, I'd like to thank a few folks before we get started and uh, just to say thank you to uh, our university and the administration and, and our staff and the folks that have worked diligently in the last and three or four weeks to help put this, this day together. First off, I want to thank Dr. Capilouto and, and Mary Lynn for their unbelievable support of athletics and, and uh, what we try and get done here to represent the University of Kentucky. So thank you, Dr. Capilouto. <laughs> Two folks that have been instrumental in helping us uh, move, move the needle on things that we need to do athletically is the chairman of the Board of Trustees, Britt Brockman, and the chairman of the uh, subcommittee for Athletics, C.B. Aiken. So to the two of you, we thank you very, very much for what you do for us. You go through times like this and you have a lot of people behind the scenes that put together events in short notice, and this was put together in short notice. Uh, we thought about it, but uh, clearly you have uh, elements you deal with, and uh, so we're all inside here today, and, and our staff has done a remarkable job. I thank them very, very much for what they've done. I had several of my staff that helped me through this process, and, and we had a, a great friend of the program in Tim Couch, and I'd like to thank Tim. I'm not sure where he is right now, but I'd like to thank him. So thank him for that. It is a chance for new beginnings. It's an opportunity for us to begin to hope and to believe that our program moves forward and gets us to a chance to participate in a game that occurred in Atlanta last night. Those are the hopes and dreams of our players and our coaches and our fans, and that's what we want to achieve as well. Um, with that, yep, that's, we can cheer for that. <laughs> Having said that, we did, we're, we're bringing a, a, a man into our program today to participate in one of those championship games last night. I think they did okay. Congratulations to him. With that, we want to welcome Chantel and Zach and Will to Kentucky. This is their first time here and big plane ride today and we fed them well. They're, they're about ready to crash on us, but uh, they're doing great. We'd like to welcome you all to Kentucky. It's great to have you with us. We've got the greatest fans in all college sports and the most passionate fan base around, and you deserve a football program that competes at a championship level. And that's what we've hired this guy to do. And we want him to help get us to Atlanta and to pursue SEC championships and play on New Year's Day. Those are the things that all football programs dream of. We dream of that for our players. We dream of that for our fans. And we want to support those efforts to get that done. And so it is with great pleasure today that I introduce the head football coach at the University of Kentucky and Mark Stoops. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. So this is what the Big Blue Nation is all about right here, huh? I appreciate it. <laughs> I, I've, been, I've been hearing a lot about it, and I uh, appreciate you being here. 
uh, it, it's a great honor for me to be the head football coach at the University of Kentucky. Um, I'd like to recognize my wife, Chantel, and the boys. Uh, appreciate them being here, as you know. She, she's the head coach at home. So. I'd like to thank Dr. Capilouto and the Board of Trustees uh, for the faith and confidence they have in me being uh, their coach, so I appreciate that, Doc. I'd like to thank Mitch Barnhart. Uh, he's been tremendous through this whole process. Very upfront, honest, uh, we've had great talks, and it seemed like each and every time we, we talked, uh, I had a stronger and stronger feeling about UK, and uh, I just really appreciate the way uh, Mitch went about this whole process, and uh, I appreciate that very much. Thank you. <laughs> I'd also like to recognize the people that helped Mitch through this process, John Crop, Dwayne Peavy, Tim Couch, and Mark Hill. Thank you, guys. To all the past and current players that are here today, I appreciate you being here. I look forward to meeting all the past players, and I look forward to getting to work with all you current players here very soon. So I appreciate it and look forward to meeting you tomorrow morning. I'd like to thank Coach Fisher, the administration, and the players at Florida State. It's been a tremendous three years for me there. Um, you know, I really liked the way it went out last night. Obviously, they're a special group, and I uh, felt very good and, and uh, wanted to leave on the right note and, uh, and, and just uh, wanted you all to feel the confidence in your new head football coach and go out with a win and win a championship. So I appreciate the way things went last night, and uh, uh, I really appreciate all the people at Florida State. I'd like to wrap up... <clears throat> I'd like to wrap up the thank yous, uh, just talking about my family. Uh, my mother, of course, has been there, been to many football games, as you all know. Uh, my brothers and sisters, I uh, grew up in a coaching family. Uh, really wanted to thank my father, who's no longer with us, but uh, a big part of who I am uh, comes from how I grew up and with my father. He was a high school coach for over 30 years, a uh, tremendous person, and uh, you know, I think that's where I started preparing to get to this position where I'm at right now is, is those days and those nights uh, spending time with my father at Cardinal Mooney. Um, there's been many nights when I've been sitting at the kitchen table eating my dinner and watching my father watch film and using the refrigerator as his canvas. And uh, so I think that's a big part of who I am. I cannot tell you how excited I am to be your football coach. I, I'm, I'm highly motivated to build this program to national prominence. There, there will be no magic wand to getting this done. We're going to do it with very much of a blue collar mentality. We're going to go to work each and every day. We're going to be accountable and dependable in what we do. Our players are going to have tremendous character, and we're going to win in the institution, and we're going to win with a lot of class. The, the one thing that I ask you to do, I ask the Big Blue Nation to fill Commonwealth Stadium each and every week next week, next year. Thank you. Our next speaker is our university president, Dr. Eli Capilouto. Thank you, Tony. <laughs> Coach, excuse my voice. Many have attributed my uh, hoarseness to a bad cold. The truth is I've spent my week auditioning to be a member of the fastest growing student group, Stoops Troops. <laughs> Good. Uh, I want a first edition t-shirt, by the way. I want to welcome you to the Big Blue Nation. It is a family. My wife and I have been here just 18 months. But it's this nation, this family, that makes us feel like we've been here forever. 
It's why my wife squeezes my hand when they play my old Kentucky home. We are here for you, and we are here for your family. Your family is our family. Coach, you'll never have a better boss than Mitch Barnhart. He's a value-driven professional who, like the rest of this campus, ensures what we do with class and integrity. You will also never know a more committed and wise Board of Trustees. We are a big blue nation united. We are here because we put students first. They are the focus of everything we do. And it's been that way for nearly 150 years. Today, we again celebrate. We do it with you, Coach. It's a big Blue Nation United with a goal of being the first choice for students as they compete in the classroom and on the field. We're also a first choice for discovery and service so that we can make a difference in those communities across our state. We're a first choice for cutting edge education because of a world-class faculty. And increasingly, we're gonna give our students and our faculty a living, learning, and discovery facilities that they need to maximize our potential. Today underscores that commitment to student athletes and to our university. We are building upon a strong foundation and investing in long-term success of our football program. That success, in turn, means so much to the rest of our athletic program and to our university. UK Athletics is one of a handful of programs in the country that gives back to the academic mission of this institution. A successful football program is key. I am convinced we have a gentleman in Mark Stoops that can build on our success. In speaking with Coach Stoops, you, you feel in a, minute, in a minute that he's a difference maker. He's the real deal. He is of character and will build character in our student athletes. And I hope you noticed last night at the conclusion of their game how his players gathered around him with deep respect and affection, Coach. With Coach Stoops joining the Big Blue Nation, we are demonstrating our commitment to football and our student athletes. We are committed to the long term in football. We are committed to investing in its success, which will ensure the financial success of the most comprehensive athletics program in the SEC, an athletics program that commits millions of dollars a year to academic scholarships and university programs. We will be talking more in the very near future about that commitment too and our specific plans for sustained investments in education, research, and athletics. Investments that will underscore our attention to chart our destiny. A first choice for students and faculty, first choice for research and service. As we move forward with our plans to rebuild all facets of our campus, it's important that our fans, friends, and alumni understand that this is an effort in partnership across the university and with our friends in the General Assembly. With the guidance and leadership of our Board of Trustees, we will define plans on how we, find how we fund multiple projects with our own dollars. We need the authorization of the legislature to proceed. We will need everybody's help in getting that approval. But today, our focus is on Coach Stoops and his family. They are joining the Big Blue family, a Big Blue nation united behind them. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Thank you.